Good morning, folks. Credit Kevin Gill for this impressive 24-hour animation of the once water-filled Mars. Top story, NASA plans to look for conductive distribution of solar energy through the upper atmosphere. It's the second time in one week I'll mention Don Scott's electric sky. This is a direct line to the electric universe theory, where people like myself and the Thunderbolts project have seen science going for years. Regular viewers of this channel have been seeing this 1993 IOP article for some time, as it's been one of the few good attempts to model this interaction that we've had. Perhaps the most important bit of this article is confirmation of my long-term assertion that this energy is underestimated. They claim it could be by as much as 100%. If I might highlight a similar failure, solar energy as a climate forcing factor has only ever been measured via the solar cycle's minuscule oscillation, when in truth, the real variable is our protective interface with energy from space, the magnetosphere. This is it weakening sharply of late, courtesy the studies of NASA and the World Center for Geomagnetism in Kyoto, Japan. To learn more about this topic, click the first link in the description box or just search for my video, Energy from Space. Global updates. It's quite clear from yesterday's comment section that California took some shaking. Top Tremor does appear to have hit 5.0 on multiple manned readers. With all four events happening within seven seconds, that is the same event read by four meters, USGS downgraded it to a 4.7. Two nuclear events in Europe. In Romania, an electrical issue in the cooling system caused a temporary reactor shutdown. And in Italy, wild boars are testing very high for levels of radioactive cesium. Now, they're claiming it's probably Chernobyl, but with regular checks on these things, how does your mind not drift to Fukushima? Top weather stories, Cyclone Sandra being decimated by cooler waters and shear. Let's hope New Zealand gets the much needed rain. Very cold in northern Europe right now, with the western edge of the northern hemisphere low pressure systems driving southward from the Arctic as part of their overall counterclockwise drive. We're seeing just that. Got some severe storm watches posted in the Mediterranean tonight as well. Speaking of the counterclockwise drive of these powerful lows, winter storm Triton turned out to be a snow event only for the northern states. We'll move through New England today. Got a tiny low over Texas as well, but you can see the power difference on the wind map, just how strong the big lows are. Speaking of which, next one is out in the North Pacific, and again, counterclockwise motion will bring moisture to the west coast along the southern boundary of the low. As both the Earth and Moon eclipse the SDO satellite, we'll transition to space weather. Got major readings on the cosmic ray charts. High-level review shows general decreases in cosmic ray density, but with the McMurdo station showing large neutron spikes, dwarfing anything we've seen there recently. Solar wind. Orange is the density, and the metrics on the left are an order of magnitude above normal. We're used to seeing 0.1, 1, and 10 protons per cubic centimeter. Has been quite dense, just as the solar wind speed has dropped to levels that create magnetic instability of their own, which we have also seen for a few days. Inductions began a few hours ago as well. On the left, the red line vertically separated the solar umbral fields, but you can see there was a major magnetic change. We've had our eye on some big sunspots cresting the limb, but then the change. Their baby sister joined the party out ahead of the pack a few hours ago. Fully developed bipolar magnetics in 24 hours, but that polarity is still well divided. That is not true, however, of the central spot. The southern magnetic interaction is the type which could produce significant flaring with minimal morphing. Besides that flare potential, the thin dark filaments are posing eruption threat as well. Solar watch is elevated with this rise in activity. I'll leave you with some other visuals from today. All links are below. Eyes open. No fear at 625 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.